I'm Dr. Hassan Razvi. I'm the Chair Chief of Urology at St. Joseph's Hospital and Western University in London, Ontario, Canada. I completed my urology residency here at Western University and then uh, carried out a fellowship uh, uh, with Dr. John Denstead. He and I have uh, been uh, involved in uh, managing the complex uh, stone patients uh, uh, since that time together. Uh, we've had the good fortune of having a uh, Stortz Moduleth SLXF2 shockwave lithotriptor for over a year uh, here in London. It's we're only one of three shock rid with the Tripsy machines uh, here in Ontario, so we serve a large uh, population base. It's very important to have lithotripsy technology in order to uh, manage our patients. Uh, we treat about a thousand patients uh, per year on our machine. We treat about 450 patients a year with ureteroscopy that's both flexible and semi-rigid. We also do approximately 150 percutaneous nephrothotomy procedures as well. I think there's been a trend in certain parts of the world uh, to consider shock lithotripsy as a less uh, efficient uh, treatment option for patients with stones. I must say in our practice uh, here in Canada, shock lithotripsy still has a very important role to play. And our experience has been that if patient selection uh, is strict and uh, the patients that are chosen for shock lithotripsy are screened appropriately, uh, it absolutely can be a very effective uh, treatment option for our patients. Uh, generally speaking, we treat patients whose stones are less than 1.5 centimeters, uh, stones that are in the kidney or upper ureter, and when the Hans Fug units are less than 1,000. Uh, those would be optimal characteristics uh, that usually would predict a successful outcome for shock lithotripsy uh, on our machine.
patient quality of life, I think, is also an important consideration when we're counseling our patients about treatment options for their stone. And certainly it has been well described in the literature that the quality of life after shock radiotherapy exceeds any other intervention uh, that uh, could be considered for a patient's stone. The minimally invasive nature uh, with minimal anesthesia, uh, an outpatient treatment, and with usually very minimal discomfort after treatment are all very uh, attractive features for our patients. And certainly those that have had other treatment modalities uh, clearly do identify shock radiotherapy as a less morbid treatment option. Hi, my, my name is William Girdler, and uh, I have uh, developed uh, well over 100 stones in the past 30 years uh, due to calcium. I've had procedures done different, different ways. Uh, I feel I've had uh, lithotripsy done about five times, and this will be my sixth time, and, and it seems to me that it's a lot simpler, a lot easier a lot uh, easier on your on your body, on your system. Uh, you can um, recover real quickly. Uh, I can go home and, and I can get up and I can motivate around uh, where other procedures you could be down for a, a month. So would you say quality of life after shockwave lithotripsy is much better? It's simple, it's easy and uh, I myself I never had any difficulty with it you know so uh, lithotripsy to me it's a lot simpler than anything